Back in 1969, an Indian immigrant family took a road trip to Ohio and serendipitously ended up at the doorstep of astronaut Neil Armstrong's family home just shortly after the Apollo 11 moon landing. And 53 years later, this story has been turned into a film called One Small Visit, mm -hmm. and it's now an Oscar contender. Take a look. Is this the hometown of Neil Armstrong? Sure is. His parents still live in Wapa. What are you doing? You can't just drop in on people without warning. Why not? We are joined now by producer Dr. Anisha Abraham mm -hmm. from Chevy Chase DC and filmmaker Joe Chim. Ladies, thank you for being here yes. and congratulations. <laughs> thank you for thank having you. us. <laughs> How did you two come together to mm -hmm. learn Anisha's story and why now to tell it? Well, we've been friends for over 12 years and okay. she told me she hosts these fabulous dinner parties and she just <laughs> tell, she told the story at one dinner party. That's it. And you said this needs this to, is be this told? Yeah. to be told. Yeah, and it stayed with me. But then eight years later, she connected me with her mom, who's an amazing storyteller. Mm -hmm. And then that's when oh. yeah. I really thought this story is just too wonderful and charming not to sh share it with the world. It, well, and you were a little baby in this story, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've been told this story <laughs> for decades and decades. What is kind of a quick synopsis of what happened? Well, my grandmother had just come to the United States uh, as an immigrant. My parents were there as graduate students. Neil Armstrong had just gone to the moon. Mm -hmm. and in fact, my parents borrowed a TV to actually watch the moon landing. Mm -hmm. And then several months later, took a trip through Wapakoneta on their way to visit friends in Ohio. And my grandmother saw the sign, you know, home of Neil Armstrong. And um, the rest of the story is really through her grit and resilience, knocking on the front door of the Armstrong's right. home. Right. And <laughs> so bold. And <laughs> yes, very bold. And the Armstrong's opening their door and inviting them in for tea. And yeah. of course, this was a time, because mm -hmm. there's a lot in the film about race mm -hmm. yeah. and race feeling race. unaccepted as Indian immigrants, right? And just kind of the coming together of what this one moment in history did for mm -hmm. mankind. Yeah, I mean, we have to remember 1969 capped a decade of the civil rights movement. And so this is really at the end of that. And mm. it was really good opportunity for me to explore those themes of race, identity, and belonging, which are really dear to both our hearts. And yeah. so I thought it was a really good opportunity to tie that in. Because mm. you often hear about yeah. black and white, you know, right. in America. Yeah. But right. what about people like me? What about people yeah. like her? The brown and the yellows. Where did they go? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. What was that history? Mm -hmm. I found it fascinating as we've been talking oh about. This gosh. is right by me. You're headed to my hometown of Salina, <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> and you stopped in. I didn't know they called it WAPA, WAPA <laughs> Yeah. Um, but the race part, because I clearly wasn't there at that time to yeah. see how it was portrayed in this short film, it kind of made me devastated thinking mm -hmm. about what my home county and, and home area was like. It's fascinating because we just made a return trip because mm -hmm. of the film with her parents and actually I learned a few things that I didn't even know before I wrote this film for instance that both Wapakoneta and Salina were sundown towns which I didn't wow. even know what that term was until until this trip mm -hmm. and yeah. so yeah I, I think I hinted at it without really knowing the underbelly um, so we're yeah. hoping to explore that more in the future yeah. film. Please do. <laughs> What's incredible too is it's 30 minutes long and yeah. it's so powerful in the 30 yeah. minutes there is. And I guess Neil Armstrong's son, Mark, just came into your home here <laughs> yes. and you guys screened it together. That's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. What's amazing about this is both of us are working moms. We happen to do this project together on the side. It's just con completely continued on in this amazing journey. And 53 years later, Neil Armstrong's son, Mark, came to our house, knocked on the door. And then, of course, my parents went back to Wapakoneta to knock on Neil's home again. So it just wow. keeps going. And we just want others to see how beautiful this is again it's really a testimony to it was kindness. so rewarding for us because <laughs> oh, we bet. we when I wrote the film I had access to the Abrahams they gave me complete mm. access but we never met up with the Armstrongs and so what oh. happened was we had a screening with one of the um, ch the chief technologist at NASA who saw it and said this is amazing we need to show it to NASA and unbeknownst to me they showed it to Mark uh, the younger oh. son and he loved it and his wife said you know let's pay return visit wow. let's oh. do the same thing and that to me Sweet. like i can never <laughs> not tell that story no. without yeah we <laughs> choked no, out it's it. amazing well and now all morning we've been talking about oscar buzz for yeah. this and i know that needs a lot of support so yes. if you would like to support this right <laughs> one small visit on its run to the oscars for the short film category yes. um, you can always follow them on social media they are at one small visit so check them out congratulations there. Ladies. thank you ladies thank so you. Incredible. thank you much.